Hey YouTube! Joe Donahue and David Land bringing you the TE Connectivity Cup Series Season 4 race number 8, the American Jobs 400. We're at Pocono. This track's pretty close to where I live. Can't say the same about David. Nope. But that's okay. He's got his own racetracks. Yep. And 14 lap event. It's it's bound to be interesting. Uh, we had a, a little trouble getting the track loaded for this race, so hopefully it doesn't crash. I don't think this video will be uploaded if it crashes. Let's go let's go through the starting lineup. Woo! On the pole, the most awesome 43 fan. Alongside Mr. Cuppy 3. Starting third is Abby Jones. Kenneth No Bueno. <laughs> David Land, that guy. Starting fifth. Alongside badass Weston Miller. Starting seventh is Jesse Cascade. And Ed Jones, not the Indy Lights racer. The two martini cars make up row uh, five. Mark Edwards. Napa Cup Series, the most unlucky racer in the series. Blake Walker, last time's winner, starting 11th. And that Racing Nation TV. Starting 13th, A.J. Patterson. And bringing up the rear is Brian LaFleur Jr. That's me. That's the most awesome 43 fan. He is going to lead us to the green. We're in turn three right now. David, what do you think's going to happen? Well, I'm really excited for this. They took our jobs 400. It's going to be really exciting. Hopefully we see a good race. Pocono is usually pretty good about these sort of things. That is true, and that is also true. Waiting for the green. There it is. We're racing. Yay. We're going to see how this turns out in turn one. Ooh, lordy lord. Now, now I can use my 200 mile an hour pace lap line, right? Yeah. Because, I don't know, let's go on board with the most awesome 43 fan. See how fast he's going. Of course you can't see how fast he's going. Well, he's on the red line, so whatever that means. Let's look behind him. How about that? This is interesting. Look, it's you, David. Hi. <laughs> I'm waving. You can't see it because it's our vector, but I'm waving. Yeah, David Land. There he is. All right, so coming out oh, of turn three. Oh boy. <laughs> he hit the wall too. Yeah, yeah. I kind of figured that was gonna happen. Yeah. Oh, oh, crab legs. Abby Jones led by the line there. Oh, that was really close. If it's that close at the end of the race, we're gonna have a, a great finish. Boy, I thought I thought I just saw Jones about get turned right in front of the people. <laughs> yeah. They are, when when everybody comes in, they're running on Dunlops. They shouldn't be, well, some of them are. What's Abby running on? I think she's running on Dunlops. So, there is tires. There are different tires. Some guys are running Goodyear's, some are Dunlops. And I think we might have one person running on Hankooks. Which would be me. I would run on Hankooks out of those three. What would you pick, David? Uh... Well, let's see, Goodyear's blow up, and Goodyear owns Dunlop, so uh, I guess I'd be a hand-cook guy, too. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. But, but I think, I, I don't know what my car is actually running. I think it's Dunlop's because I think that's a European car but, that I'm running, but who knows. Yeah, the majority of the field are on Dunlop's, I believe. I think there's only one hand-cook car, like I said, and I, there might be two or three Goodyear's. I didn't even know hand-cook was a company in the 80s. Yeah. I hope it was. Otherwise, this mod's not correct. But that's not important right now. Let's look at uh, the front of the field here. Ooh. Three wide. Oh, look at Mr. That's Cuppy 3. Mr. Cuppy 3 was forcing an issue there. Yeah, yeah. he's kind of started falling back. He was up there at the front. Now, uh, kind of getting uh, free trained to the back. Yeah, that does happen in this mod in R Factor a lot. There's a lot of. A lot of movement in that aspect. The most awesome 43 fan is leading the way. He's trying to break the 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 draft for David here, but it didn't really work out too well. David's still holding his position. He 
Yeehaw. And other than other than that, everything's calmed down. These guys are gonna batten down the hatches and hold out for the end now. I hope not, but I think that's how it's gonna happen. This looks a lot like uh, current aero package uh, uh, Daytona race. We've got one leader out in front of two lines, and then he's blocking them. Uh, yeah. That's kind of how we stand out front. That's true. Well, these cars are replacing NASCAR 2015 cars because that mod didn't work. VHR stock car. Guys. That company that makes that mod. Hello. How are you? <laughs> because they're all watching right now. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. They definitely aren't. Hey, let's talk about the race. Yeehaw. So, uh... Let's go on board with the guy who is commentating, David Land. See All what right. he sees. Let's see if anything interesting happened. Look how uh, loose the cars are coming through the tunnel turn there. Um, man, this is uh, some tough racing. As you can see, everybody's kind of gotten into line now. Um, not really sure. Well, yeah. Yeah, most people are running the bottom of the track. I think part of that has to do with tire wear um, from all the sliding. We'll have to see how this works out. Looks like we're getting double file again here to the outside. I go of the awesome 43 fan, and uh, Brian LaFleur is trying to push me, but I think, I think I'm going to get screwed here and fall to the back. We'll see. I forget which way you... Oh well, there goes A.G. Patterson. We've just now finally completed a lap on board, so we're going to cut from here to this. And it looks like Dave well, Land's going to start... Ho, ho, ho! Ooh! Oh. Ed Jones. And hey, we lost someone. We lost Race Nation TV. He fell off the back of the pack. Hmm, I wonder what happened there. We must have missed something uh, while we were doing the onboard shot there. Uh... He, he doesn't have any damage, and he's not going into the pits. So my guess would be he just got a little loose, and nobody else did, so he kind of lost that time. And now he lost the draft, so... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey! Oh, well, now look at this. This is interesting. The, the top line being led by yours truly, actually making some moves three wide off, off of the tunnel turn. That's not going to work, I don't think. I think we're going to see that go poorly for somebody at some point. Yeah. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, it, it hasn't been working out much in the past few laps. How many laps have we completed now? We're almost halfway. And we're... We're almost halfway. Uh, they're gonna be halfway at the line here. Or maybe on the back stretch. But... I don't think that uh, we're going to have a very short race. This is about, we're only about two minutes lower than, two minutes away from the same amount of time that the Glen took, and we're halfway, so. That was a short race, the Glen. The Glen was short, and Pocono is not going to be as short. Now look at that, the bottom line has absolutely gapped the top line. And now, whoa! Oh, 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 oh! That's it, no! Holy cow, you had to bicycle it there. Holy smokes. How did that feel, David? That was you, David, did you? Yeah, that, I know that was me. That's why I was so animated about the, uh, about the near uh, death experience there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I did say, you know, three wide is not gonna work, and it was really spread out the field now. Um, I, th I, I just have a feeling that we're going to really see it happen at the tunnel turn. Somebody's going to try to make it three wide and it's going to pinch somebody into the wall. I just hope it's not that uh, that rainbow-colored apple car there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, look who's leading, David. Yeah, Blake Walker. He's uh, He's been doing pretty good uh, the, today um, or in the last couple races. Winning at the Glen. Actually, a lot of the uh, key players at the Glen are running right up here at the front. Uh, uh, most awesome 43 fan was in that uh, top group uh, at the Glen as well. And here's a little statistic about the most awesome 43 fan that I I think we should mention is that 
He's finished fourth four times in a row now. So, considering the fact that this is the eight, eighth race, he's finished fourth in four out of seven. So he's got some good points on his side. Consistency wins championships. That is true. Uh, let's look at A.J. Patterson, who is in second. He has not been as impressive in these past few races as he was at the beginning of the season, but he is doing pretty good today. Blake Walker just got hung out to dry. He's got no dance partner right now. Uh, he is absolutely, uh, he is alone, and, and uh, he's sleeping alone tonight. <laughs> Yeah, it's a shame. Well, David Land's kind of feeling bad for him, so he jumps up top. David Land was gotten all the way back up to third that quickly. That was yeah, surprising. Yeah, I'm not really sure of the logic there uh, by uh, by yours true. Well, Mr. Cuppy Three is going to go up there. He's going to help out the uh, the Ray Hall car. Uh, that doesn't uh, that doesn't surprise me in the least bit. We're going to see if this top line starts to work. Um, it's not going to work if somebody makes it three wide. Oh, <laughs> oh. Happen? Jay Caskey jumped up. He was trying to get in with his teammate because he's your teammate, and it didn't really yeah. work out. Yeah, we might we might have to have a little talk uh, behind the trailer after this race. Uh, I'm not really sure what he was thinking there. Another almost accident there as Brian <laughs> LeClaire Jr. tried to come up it's, into uh, one of the Martini cars. I'm not sure who that was. It's for sure that uh, if anything were to happen, it would be in the tunnel turn. Oh, look at this. Except, we are spreading out. Yeah. Coming off of the third turn there. So with with this, uh, I think we got three laps to go. And the most awesome 43 fan, how many laps has he led in a row now? He's led the whole race. Dominated. Actually. I think only Abby Jones has uh, led one uh, outside of uh, the most awesome 43 fan. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's and, led. Uh, look at it, and speak of the devil. Look who's on the leading the outside uh, charge there. It is Abby Jones. So maybe uh, she's been saving while everybody else has been absolutely abusing their cars. We'll have to see. Yeah. Oh, ooh, ooh contact in the back. Ooh. Oh, man. Someone. I think that was. Uh, I think that was you, David. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. I, the car has not been doing too well coming out of that tunnel turn. Oh man! Oh 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 oh! oh, 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 oh. Wow! That's what I think happened to Racing Nation TV, actually. Yeah, but I didn't lose the draft. I think because I held up a Mr. Copy Three fan there. Um, so we'll have to see if, the, if these two can hook up. But it looks like we got uh, one heck of a race here with two laps to go. Yeah. Uh, and Abby Jones takes the lead on the outside uh, out of the tunnel turn. She or does. Of, yeah, that's out of the tunnel turn. No, that's not. That's turn one. No, I'm confused. I don't know my Pocono well very well. It's all right, David. And Kenneth Bueno starting to sneak up in there. Three wide for the lead. That's not going to work, boys and girl. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, my. Wow. How about that? That's interesting, uh, to say the least. So, uh... Oh. Yeah. Oh man, I think those people who missed the draft might have, might be in the best position here if they if these guys pile up like I think they might. That's do true. Last lap. That's true. So Abby Jones kind of has a little bit of a, a wide gap. That's really smart. The most awesome 43 fan and Kenneth Bueno, they're kind of working together here because of how far apart they were. Abby Jones couldn't jump back and forth between them to block both lanes, and that's how Kenneth Bueno got up beside her. But she's got the run off of the bottom. Uh, wow, this is gonna be interesting. Flag here. This is this is where it might happen. Everybody, hold your breath. This is where. Oh, look out! Kenneth Bueno on the outside. Is he gonna make that pass? Not there. I'm surprised nobody tried to make it three wide there. Uh, we've seen that uh, paid some dividends for the guy on the inside, but. Nobody made the move. Here we go. That Abby Jones leads him off the final corner. Out of the final corner. She's she's looking like she's got the lead over both lanes. I think she's got it. I think she's got it. She's going to win her home race. Abby Jones wins the American Jobs 400. Great. Great performance. Her and Ed, this is their home track. So to win, wow. That's, that's a great thing to see. A great performance. She saved the car. She didn't go out there and run with everybody. Like, you know, we saw that David Land idiot crash in Racing Nation TV. She she stuck there, kind of held on to the back of the field, 
let everybody else kind of use their cars up, and she uh, turned it on right when it counted. It looks like we finally had to crash uh, in the tunnel <laughs> after the race. Yeah, the guys are kind of laying it down a little bit, trying to slow up, try to take that momentum out of the way, and that was not the greatest way to do that, but... It, it did happen. Mr. Cuppy 3, did he finish where he is right now? No, he didn't. He's just been kind of passing people. Hey, that's not good. Oh, no. Oh, lordy lord. <laughs> did, you, did you crash the game? I did crash the game. <laughs> oh, boy. Good thing you flashed the, the results up on the screen. Yeah. I, can, I have to go back to that moment and... Uh, NASCAR, NASCAR has to look at the video evidence, <laughs> or the IRA has to look at the video evidence to determine how the finishing order was because Brian LaFleur Jr. decided to crash the game by wrecking in the pits. Yeah. Well, it's done responding, so, uh... Oh, my God. I guess that's the end of the race. <laughs> Freaking, uh, Windows Vista. Oh, my God. Why are you on Windows Vista? There's your... Oh, there's the problem. Yeah. All right, so thanks for watching. Uh, that's where I'm going to end it. I don't want you to see my home screen. I have certain things there that are for YouTube purposes that will give it away. And, yeah. And thanks for watching. Yeehaw. Shout out to David Land. They took our jobs. See you next time. We're going to Darlington for oh. the Bojangles 400 next time. We'll see you there. That's going to be.